that. Hello, <laughs> how are you? It's six o'clock. Uh, it can only mean one thing. We have opened the sweet shop once again for another one day special. And my word, what a one day special have I got for you today. We are going to take you down to the one way strip that is down to Dolly Town. Let me take you down. Open Dolly Town. <laughs> Love that one. Uh, for the sheer fact, I'm on fine fettle this afternoon. Uh, we are taking you to Dolly Town. I'm not alone. You can hear the little, the light hint of a cackle in the background. Yes, she's here. Asha Main's here. How are you, my love? I'm fine, thank you. Did you say little <laughs> when you you're are. looking? <laughs> I love it when you're here. I love you when you're here too. Oh, don't. You'll blab me blushing like a beetroot. <laughs> um, for the sheer fact, you bring us stuff that you can use time and time again. Yep which is what I adore. Second of us, price point is amazing. I tried to budget for different budgets. Budget for different budgets? Yeah. Yeah, but you do budget for different budgets. So we're talking 25 stamps in total for 29 pounds and 96 pence. But these are stamps that you can reach to for other stamp sets that you've already got in your yeah, collection. Yes, yeah. so they'll, mi they'll mix and match with others. And there's a set that I brought oh, a couple of years back now um, that'll go perfect with them. They'll work perfectly with the decoupage that we've got on. They'll work perfectly with backing papers. They'll work perfectly with a mixture of stuff. And you'll see the girls have free range. They mix and match to their heart's content. I absolutely right. Uh, let me show you what you're getting. <laughs> I just went straight into sample mode and I hadn't even told you what you're actually getting in your kit for £29.90. You are getting four stamp sets worth £10.99 each. If you only want the one, the details are at the bottom of the screen at the moment. But you are getting these for £7.49 each is what we're looking at. £14 is what you're saving on these as well, which is phenomenal. Now, each individual stamp set, all the elements you see there are all individual, is what you are actually getting. Uh, let me show you some of the finished samples that you can see here. Uh, the individual houses that you're getting with the little picket fence that go around. Um, just doing scene, you know I love a scene builder card because I think you can really get some depth and some beauty and we've all seen houses or little bird houses you could turn them into. You could either turn them into beach lodges, you know you ones you see if you go down to like wells next to the sea and that sort of places. You could turn them into little beach huts. If Look at that for a card. How beautiful is that? But don't just think cards. There is so much more that I can offer you. Things like your tapestries, your pencil cases, if you want in there as well. So now imagine your pencil cases, having these around your home, uh, stamping them onto your, your canvases and your calico and start sewing through them and embroidering through them uh, with your beautiful French knots you could pop in there and go around your little fence panels. You've also got some of the stuff behind me, things like Christmas baubles you could do with these now. Uh, we've got that beautiful long tapestry. If someone's moving house, this would be beautiful uh, to gift them because maybe it's their little quirky street that they live on. There is so much you can achieve from door plaques to t-shirts to 3D houses, which I'll get to later as well, do not worry, to massive canvas bags. And all of this for 29 pounds and 96 pence uh, we are <laughs> four minutes and 55 seconds into our first live hour and now as you heard the light titter <laughs> i know just a light titter from the corner <laughs> 20 <laughs> 20 percent of the stock Jeez. has now already gone a 24 hour stock there is meant to last us till tomorrow till five o'clock tomorrow night 20% of the stock has already gone. £29.96. 856013 is your item number. We will come back to these. There is more you can do with these when you go. Uh, we're moving. Uh, so, <laughs> there, so now. Choo choo. <laughs> I know I was just moving. The camera was moved before I moved. I was like, oh, I must be moving. Uh, so, stencils is what we're looking at now. Oh, it's been one of them days. Uh, 14 pounds and 97 pence for three stencils. Mm -hmm. Now, what are we classing these? Are these like background stencils? Are they four? I suppose they could be what you want. They, foreground they can. stencils. I'm, I'm going to go with my first demo using those, mixing them in. But yeah, background, foreground, centerpiece, focal piece, whatever you like to call them. And, and we're stencils, getting, do what you want. And this is a pick and mix and you can choose which one you want. From nope. the, so you get all three. You get all three in that you've got um, collection one, collection two and collection three. 
So we've got all the collections. So we've got all the collections here. The item numbers will change, uh, but the prices stay the same, just so you can get a heads up on it. Oh my word, a nine pound saving on these. Now look, at these are beautiful. So much you can do with so much detail. A stencil can be so many things. I've learned this over the last few days since I've been here. So far, I've learned you can emboss with a stencil. Then I saw somebody the other day inking with a stencil and using the stencil as an actual stamp. So now you can turn it around. You don't have to stencil through it. Use it as the stamp that it's intended to. This one here, you imagine that with your houses. That would make a beautiful night sky. Yeah. You, could you just, it's got so much potential of what you can do with that because of shapes. And basic shapes are what makes everything. That is true. That is I'm true. Clever, I? Oh, you are. <laughs> You're a good egg. Uh, so you've got uh, the first set. This is set one that you've got £14.97. Uh, let's move on uh, to set two that we've got then. <laughs> now, we'll, get this, we'll get this right later. We'll get this right. Uh, but then we've got set two that we're looking at now. Three stencils once again. We've got your screw heads uh, and your nails. You've got your dots and your dashes and you've also got your shades as well. Uh, once again, um, I'm loving the screw heads that you've got in there because they could be so many other things. They could be like beach balls. They could even be little Christmas bells if you did them in the silver if you wanted to with the slit that you've got running down there. Love this. Look at this. Um, you've got your flashes of thunder if you wanted to. You've sort of got your, your super flash that runs through there as well. And then these could be pebbles, it could be a stepping stones, it could be a front garden, it could be anything. Turn it on its side, you've got little trees in the distance if you wanted to as well for the points that they go to. Uh, it could be rain, it could be snow. Normally £7.99 each. Now £4.99 each, £14.97, 443-554 is your item number. It just looked like rain. You turn that aside with a bit little houses underneath. 1497, can't go wrong. 443-554 is your item number. Last but no means least. <coughs> Excuse me, getting excited. Uh, set three that you've got here. Uh, roses you've got in here now. You've got your uh, maize, roses and your cosmic that's running through. This is the most popular of the three sets so far as well. Nine pounds saving, 1497, 551993 is your item number. Once again, not just a stencil. Use these for everything, mats, um, your mats and layers, because you could draw through. I can't draw, so I use stencils to draw at the moment. If Molly wants anything, this is how I get. This is how I get about it with a set of stencils uh, that she's currently got. Uh, but you've got your roses, so draw around your roses that you've also got in there. Uh, you've got your maze as well. Your maze is this top one, which is beautiful and then which means this must be the cosmic at the bottom. So many things you can achieve from these. 1497551993 is your item number. Will work beautifully with your one day special as well. Get it while you can. Right then, let's move on to something you love time and time again. This is your paper kit. So what are you getting in your paper kit? Let's break all this down. So you are getting your 16 decoupage sheets. First of all, let's start off with them. 16 decoupage sheets. So these are your decoupage that you're seeing here at the moment. You're getting uh, two sheets of, well, they're all different is what they are. Um, I like the domes they're in. That will all make sense later as well. Uh, they are beautiful. Uh, after this, it's all on 120 GSM paper as well is what we're looking at. Uh, all 16 <laughs> designs. You've got your little camper van in there. Look at that little camper van with two little hoods. Never seen that before. Uh, then you've got your little cars in there as well. We work wonderfully with your stencils that we're looking up here. Uh, your little um, vans that you've got in there. And we've got houses again. Uh, we'll work with the houses in your one day special that we've got. Then we talk backgrounds. Now you are getting 10 background papers. Slightly smaller than A4 we're looking at now. So you're looking at slightly smaller than A4. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Like that little wood that you've got on there. Oh, it's all metal, that like sort of thing. Uh, I love that. Love that. Absolutely adore. Uh, once again, that little seaside effect that you've got, a little crackle that you've got on there as well. Uh, so you're getting all these papers, A4 papers. Uh, then you're also then getting uh, five sheets of the Super Smooth card in there as well. So you're getting five sheets of the 300 GSM Super Smooth card. Then I will also throw in, I say I, I use the royal I for that. <laughs> I don't throw in anything. Um, I don't 
I pack the orders personally. I know Charmaine says she's me that does them. Uh, as I sit there in my own home. Uh, then I will volunteer. I'll do that. I'll come down. I'd love that. Uh, you're also getting your stencil as well. Obviously, I'll send you my invoice. Um, but uh, you also get your stencil in there as well. So with the kit that you're getting. I might have to put the price up when you put your invoice in there. Well, you, you might do. It won't, <laughs> it won't be 14 97 after you've had my invoice. Touched by these very hands that have been on telly. Yeah. Um, but the paper what, kit yeah. is absolutely awesome because you've got so many layers. So you can make them into cards and do your 3D layers, but you've got lots left over if you don't layer them up. There's enough there to do umpteen cards, not just 16 cards, a lot more. But if you want to 3D them up, so they're really, really 3D, then you can go for it. But just simply mixing, which is what I'm going to do over the shows over the next two days, is use the decoupage kits in a slightly different way. They do mix in with the stamps, hence why they're on the show. No, I love it. <laughs> decoupage as well. So you can see all the different layers that you're getting there. Uh, there are your layers. So this is what it looks like when it's all laid up. How, how beautiful is that? Something quite classy about it as well. And I do like a classic card. £14.97. There's so much more to get through. £14.97. Um, I've even got a cheeky little happy hour. Just because I can. Uh, let's bring in your happy hour deals. Uh, 33 stamps for £34.93. pence. Give over. £42 saving. If this is a collection that you've always wanted, you've looked at them, last time they've been on the last show of the show, normally it's £10.99 a stamp, a stamp set. <laughs> that could have been anything that come out then. <laughs> this time, £4.99 a stamp set. And it will work with your little houses that you've got there as well. £34.93, 381025. That price will go up at seven o'clock this evening. I've also got an embellishment kit on the show as well. We'll quickly show you that. Uh, it was really busy before the show. It's busy now as well. This is your Dolly Dimples complete embellishing set. 56 metal charms, beads, and a 6 mil of the cord lace in there as well. You can see that at the bottom right to your screen at the moment. Um, these are beautiful. Yeah, there is a sample board right down at the end there with them all on. And they're absolutely stunning. Stunning. That's it, we've Stunning. got the book, haven't we? Oh, here we go, we can't <laughs> talk now. Uh, we're loving it. Absolutely, <laughs> nearly a quarter of the stock there has already gone on the embellishment kit. Um, if you, Is the embellishment kit a happy hour as well? Oh, no. Oh, no, just checking. Uh, so the embellishment kit will be there, but I don't think it's going to be there for long. So if you want it, I'd get it while you can. Oh, my word. 13 minutes in, and lucky for some, and a third of your one-day special now has already gone. Get it why it's still here. Uh, your details are on the screen as well. That's still for your embellishing kit. I'll bring up the details for your one day special for you. Right then, let's go for demonstration to find out what we are up to. Right, okay. I've, I'm going to start with um, a sheet of the A3 um, card. This is a 250 GSM, but I'm going to be working on my mixed media card. So I'm just going to use um, some sprays. So these are the. Um, the Dean, Dean Lou Wheatley, I struggle to say the name, sprays on there. So whichever sprays, thank, uh, thank you. Dean Lou Wheatley, Wheatley, is that right one? Yeah, that's what. Bless her. <laughs> so <laughs> put that on. And we'll then her. what I'm going to do is I'm making a couple of backgrounds for Ron. So I'm just going to take off excess. For Ron? Yeah, Ron. Later on. Do you not know who Ron is? Oh, but like, uh, who's uh, Ron? Have Ron? we got another guest that I don't Special know? Special person, no. Ron. He's going to join us later. <laughs> Ron. <laughs> yeah, party time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up excess onto this piece this is a piece I want to work with so I get what I get <laughs> Ron <laughs> he's coming later <laughs> did you not get the memo <laughs> but no one mentioned another guest in prep whatsoever <laughs> so what I've got here is what I've got so I want a little bit I want a lot on these does that okay. make sense yeah okay so basically I'm prepping <laughs> no, I see what you're doing here lazy mare so I'm going to take that oh, one off wow. and I'm going to pop that one underneath to my drying quarters there we go, we've got this special uh, drying quarters underneath. I'm going to grab another sheet, I'm going to pop that underneath and I'm just going to take off, this is me cleaning, onto another piece. So that'll work for something else. Okay, now that's dried on there, I use acetone or nail varnish remover okay. to get rid of it when I want to get rid of it, if I want it to look clean. But it does look awful pretty. You see this but we've got left over? Yeah. I quite like that as well, so I'm going to see if there's any more and we get what we get. Not a lot. 
No, but it's, it's still that little thing that could be just like just a little bit. But I do like I do like that. Less is more sometimes with this. Sometimes you want a lot. So I'm going to put that in my drying quarters, and I'm going to come back to this piece. This is the one that I want to work with, and I'm going to go in that direction. I think. Okay, so you know the paper that you're using. Yes. Well, it's not really paper; it's sort of no, cardstock. Card. Why is it mixed? Me it says on the screen mixed media, 250 GSM cardstock. Why? What makes it mixed media? Because you can use whatever you want on it. Um, okay. So far, uh, I use alcohol pens, alcohol ink. I've used um, watercolor pen paints, uh, acrylic paints, and. Um, Gessos, mediums, texture paste, oh, so use... um, glossy paste, sprays, lotions and potions, you know, and occasionally I just stroke it. It's also good for construction, even though it's 250 and a lot of people think that they've got to have the 300. If you're putting paper on back and front, you're making it thicker anywhere. That's so, true. And it's just nice to work on. Oh, so <laughs> if we don't that, I know I'm changing the subject slightly, but if, you we're going with, if we're going in with watercolours and stuff like that, obviously you're not going to saturate the paper anyway, but you're not going to get that. Oh, but you can with it. This yep. is what I was about to ask. Yep. I've just started with watercolour pens and my, uh, they were going terribly because I kept saturating the paper because obviously if you're new, you don't really know where you're going. Mm -hmm. And you know you get that bubbliness on the paper and you start rubbing the co coating of the paper away. Right. Well, when I uh, first started using watercolour paper, um, we used to soak the paper, but we used to stretch it first on a board. So we tape it all down, saturate the water, you've got it stretched. So in actual fact, you're going to bubble up the paper anyway. But you've got it stretched and then you cut it down and you dry it and oh you stick yeah. it on to something else. Even if it does bubble, it's still usable. Try and have a thought of I that. mean, if you put more and more and more on, it, it, it is going to bubble. So it just depends what you're using and what Where effect you, you want. Mm, you so it works for me. So now what I've done is I've placed my next stencil on. So this is the Enchanted Circles from set two. And I'm just going to lightly go over with a pink oxide. If you want the colour, it is... Um, I always want to call it pickled raspberries. It's pi is it picked raspberries or pickled raspberries? It's one or the other. It's raspberries. So now on my brush, I've not cleaned it, so I have actually got a little bit of blue on there as well. So I'm just going to take... You've actually got the sample right in front of you of I have. what I'm trying to reproduce. Well, I? Yep, that, that one. That That's one. The one. That's oh, that one. one. That's one. That's the one I want. So that's what I'm going for. So this could be um, a big piece like what I'm doing or it could be a small piece as well. So all I'm doing is moving the stencil down just slightly and right. just going in circular motions with my oxides. And now I'm going to add a touch of blue and hope that those colours will mix together. So it will be slightly different to what I've already done, but you can get the general idea of what I've got. So this is already dry, so it's just giving it a little element of something else in the background there. And both of them stencils that you're using so far, it's from exactly the same set. So that's not just one of these that, oh, you need a bit of that from that. That's both stencils from the first set of stencils that I've shown you. Um, they're both in the same set, which is amazing. So you, you, can, <laughs> you can be creating these at home. Sorry. <laughs> huh. Now I'm going to go for set two. OK. OK, what was in before? Set one. So now I'm going to go for set two. Uh, I did try. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the same blue that I used before, not that one that's from the other ink. And same blue and I'm just going to do a little crossover so a little line so I'm not using a whole heap of uh, different products and I'm not using a whole heap of different um, mediums there so cross that one over well, no, because so far you've used three spray bottles and two of your distress oxides yeah That's all. and I think most people go for at least three colours of something you don't yeah. generally go for one but I could build this up with um, texture paste and things to add um, dimension to it as well but I'm just going to leave this fairly flat so move that one over and I'm just going to sneak a little bit in at the top here just in circular motions so I'm going to stick with the blue and I think we'll just add a little bit down here and not go too giddy on this Right, next step, let's get them stamps in there. How's that looking, Adam? That looks, ni that looks nice. This is the, 
I like these sort of backgrounds because once again, over that one background, you've already made three that you're going to use later on, and then now yeah. you've started prepping on this yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to make a smaller piece, this is a this is a smaller take on it. The same sort of thing. I've obviously mixed in some uh, yellow in there as well, or more yellow. So it's all done on the same sort of um, theme. Right. So what I'm going to do now, because I don't think I did, is. E did you? Didn't. Right, I'm going to take my ruler and my um, craft knife and I'm going to just trim this slightly off of one side and I think it's going to be this side because it can be. So I'm just going to trim it slightly off of one side lengthways and one side widthways. Um, I'm not measuring because I can't be bothered. Is that so you get the perfect mat and layer save you're cutting all the sides and they're all being different? Yeah, you've got to go around four times and you know, that's just a waste of time for me. So I just take a chunk off of either side. I'm using the lines in my ruler to measure up with the lines on the card to try and keep it straight. It doesn't always work because it sometimes goes wonky. So that's going to be my mat on there. Does that make sense? I love that idea. Yeah, so straight away, I mean, I think I'd prefer that if it wasn't going wonky donkey, but you know, it's the way it is. So now what I'm going to do. 50 is sheets for the True Black card as well, 250 GSM, nine pounds and 99 pence if you want to start. 70 pence a sheet is what you're looking at there. So now I'm going to take the, um, the butterfly, which comes from stamp set number three, I think. Uh, I think you may be right. I may be right, but good. It's the, sort of the shop front looking one with, that comes with the picket fence and yes. also the trees in there as well. That's the one. And I like the picket fence because you can build it up and you get a little bush in there. Everybody needs a right good bush in their life. So we've got the butterfly at the top here. And then I'm just going to make the butterfly float down the page. So this is just one element in the stamp set. And then next... Move that one down. Uh, if you want these butterflies, uh, you better be quick. Nearly 40% of the one day special is now already gone. 40%. You know I can't sing. I can't sing, Adam. So we are so <laughs> busy for a brand new Lord. Well, you better learn. We've got an hour in between. <laughs> learn how to sing. <laughs> Turn the volume down. <laughs> Never. Oh, gee. I'm sure you like a lark. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the only one that I know that can empty a room within seconds. <laughs> yeah, because they've all gone to the bar thinking, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> well, you know I'm quite loud. <laughs> don't need a oh, mic. Oh, I bet you can belt I out some 69. I do not need a mic. Right, so what we've got going on here is <laughs> I need another piece of cardstock. There we go, right in front of me. So I'm going to go with a mixed media cardstock again. And I've got broken magnets. That's just not good, is it? Oh. So pop that in. Pop that one on. Move How do you, you break over. a magnet? That's some force. Oh, they, got, they went. They stuck together, and I tried to get them apart, and it went ching, oh. ching. <laughs> Sound effects as well. <laughs> so, giving my old stamp a good ink like in there. Like a one-man band, you are, isn't you? Your own sound effects <laughs> in the song. Ching. <laughs> Do you into your topiary. Ding dong. Oh, I've got a doorbell. <laughs> ah, do you know it's cool you're being on with you? <laughs> Bless you. Ah, here we go. I could have that in writing by tomorrow for my management. Yeah, I want it in writing that you're coming to help me pack. <laughs> <laughs> so I've stamped him out and then I'd stamp out the rest of them Look and then that. I'll do some uh, quick colouring. So do you want to do a recap where I get my colouring devices out? Of course I can. I'll show, I'm going to show samples. Yay! Uh, nearly 40% of your one day special has already gone. You're getting four stamp sets, which are normally 10 99 each is what you're looking here, for 7 49 in this one day special. Um, you can see all the different elements that you've got in there as well. I don't know if I can show you. I haven't got nothing black to show you um, against the cards against. Oh, yeah, I have. Thank you very much. Uh, just found some black card at the back. Uh, so you've got... <laughs> Um, beautiful, uh, all the stamps that we've got in there as well. So they are all the stamps that you can see. So that's one set, that's where the butterfly has come from, this one just here. Uh, then uh, we've got this set. I love these sets that you're getting there as well. Uh, they are. Is the packaging real life size? Yes. Oh, yes. I, I much prefer it to be that way, then at least you know what you're getting. Size well, they look bigger in real life. Do they? Oh, maybe I goofed. Hmm, maybe that's just up? me and I've heard that somewhere before. <laughs> uh, so you've got your house. Uh, then, uh, I love this one because this could be, 
you could this one's number two but you could sort of cut them down it's quite tudor-esque quite stratford upon avon um i can see there we well, got your little flowers in there as well and your little clouds oh uh, what's that in the corner oh there's like little brickwork so you've got a little brick weave that if you wanted to get in there you've got little trees in there and there's your little path uh, that you wanted as well so that, i'm guessing that's a little wall and they all butt up uh, then our last set that i've also got in this kit uh, this is the ones uh, this one's set number one, it also comes in with your words as well. Uh, but your picket fence, you could extend that out around in there. Uh, your words are <coughs> dedication, motivation, inspire, <coughs> uh, live, love, laugh, uh, and influential, inspirational, I'm going for. Uh, very busy across the board. So they're the stamped form, so they are the same size as the front, but they do look bigger in stamping form. Let me show you some of what you can achieve uh, when you get all these home. How beautiful are these they're so nice little just a fussy cut elements out if you've got some of the other sets as well these would work wonderful uh, with those uh, things like this to make yourself tags all these are little tags that you can take out so now uh, think about like uh, housewarming gifts that you may want to make in there as well uh, you could really go to town oh let's open this out oh look at that oh my word that is beautiful uh, I've got to show one more. I have loads back here that I'm going to show you uh, over the next coming hours. Uh, but look at what you can do when you get them home. Um, there is also, I know I said I'd move on, this. This is amazing. This Is, is this by Alu? Yeah, that's from Lou Sims. Uh, Lou Sims has made magnets. Now, I have a whole box of magnetic stuff. Uh, to play with inside here uh, throughout the course of the hour we will change we will change the scene as the day goes on um, but imagine doing these on your fridge so you have to imagine this board at the back is a fridge okay it's what you're going to do because Charmaine couldn't get at her fridge here uh, so she made one for us um well we did all think well we we thought you would get one here we thought you'd buy one and get it in my bag, but you just, can't just wouldn't them. You wait till I can't bring the miniature beer fridge because, you know, that had the beer in. Well, that's got full. You don't want them getting warm, do you? <laughs> no, uh, no, especially when you unplug it. Oh, no, I'll wheel the one in from the canteen tomorrow. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, so over 40% of the one-day special now has already gone in over half an hour. 856-013 is your item number, is what you're looking at uh, for these. Uh, we've got enchanted circles for your stencils as well, which are ridiculously busy. Uh, that's set one. Then I've got set two. Um, the only difference is, okay, the only difference is, is the item number for these. It's not a pick and mix, you're getting all three, but the item numbers do change. So if you like that bundle, you're going to follow the item numbers. So this has got the screw heads in and the nails in there, 14.97. And then the last one, our most popular one, all oh, the maize, the roses, and the cosmic. Very, very busy for this one. You're loving this one at the moment. 551993 is your item number. Right then, your paper kit is also ridiculously busy this hour as well. You are getting so much for £14.97. pence. So much. You are getting 16... Shall I pick it up this time? Do you want me to, you want me to leave it there? Go on, I'll, I'll, go on, I'll do a bit of work. So there you got uh, your houses in there as well. Uh, you are getting 16 decoupage sheets uh, on 120 GSM paper is what you're looking at here as well. So every single one. So maybe you just use this for one card. That's two cards. That's three cards. Or you decoupage it all up and you're getting that depth that's in there. So now you can really go to town. So in theory, you've got one, two, I reckon you can get three cards out of that quite easily once again. There's so many sheets. Remember, you're getting 16 different sheets in here as well every single time. Um, and then we also go on to your backgrounds. I know I flicked through quite a few here. Uh, backgrounds, you're getting 10 background sheets that are slightly smaller than A4. And A means only slightly smaller is what you're looking at as well. Uh, so you've got all the beautiful colorways that are running through. I love this one. It reminds me of paint and washing up liquid. You used to put it in with a straw and blow it with a bubble. Oh, that's cool, doing that. <laughs> love doing I love that. doing that. I've only just re-found it all over again, but that's <laughs> what it reminds me of, getting paint into a big pint cup and just blowing with a straw. Uh, this it looks very on trend at the moment as well. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, loving all of these. Very busy for it all is what we are. You also get your template as well. 
uh, you get your template to make these beautiful, beautiful houses. So now you can stamp upon your houses uh, so you can make now make yours 3D. Beautiful little gift boxes. I was thinking as well, they'd be stunning little gift boxes that you've also got in there. Um, very busy up on a base. Nearly half the stock now has already gone. So get it while you can. Half the stock has already gone. Charmaine, what are you up to, my love? Oh, playing, playing as you do. Right, what have I used? What have I used so far? I'm using the Koi pen. So these are a, a water-based product. And I've scribbled, so I'll do another scribble because I can, um, onto a piece of... Um, it's a waste product, you know, packaging that you get your labels in. So I could do it on the glass mat, but it would mean I'd have to tidy. So, <laughs> added the water, I've got a bit of tissue, and take my excess off, and I'm desperately trying to do fast colouring. And <laughs> it just doesn't work for me, I just don't do fast, but I'm going to give it a go. So, I'm um, adding a little bit of water. I have gone neat with some of the colour because these pens are just ace and you can do. And now I'm doing a wash. Now, how I find when I do washes is I find it best to layer up colours as I do if I was using my alcohol pens, if I were using my wax pencils, whatever medium, I'll layer up the colours on top of each other so I let them dry. Does that make sense, Adam? No, that makes sense. So I'll do one, move on to the next one, and then... Um, let it dry, go back and add more depth to it. So I'm putting a base coat down and then when the top one's dry, I'm going to go back in and I think I'm going to mix it up with a bit of pink because I like pink. So I will just go in this area here oh, and this. I know that those two colours are just going to work really nice together and that way they're going to match because it is the two colours. Does that make sense? Makes sense in my mind. No, it makes anywhere. sense. I'm just looking, that carrier sheet that you've got, if people thinking, well, I haven't got a spare space stickers, that also works with the poly pockets that you put paper into. Yeah, yeah, same thing. We can do it direct on your glass mat. It just means that I'm keeping that. And we also do it on my acrylic block. And a lot of the time, people will see me doing it on my stamp press. I use that for so many different things. No, it's a good just little idea. Just like a bit of plastic, a plate, or whatever, and you can do the same set technique. Um, and it just it just saves me from having it on here, moving my card and getting it all getting dirty. Getting it all on the back now. No, we just don't like a dirty bottom really, do we? Well, so, who does? So that keeps it nice and tidy. So I'm adding my colour with my paintbrush, just pushing that in. It's my big fat head in the way. I love this. I know that. I just find this very, very relaxing, me personally. Um, well, what? when I'm at home, I do. No, I <laughs> he find... He has stood up, it's a bit different. I find colour kind of really relaxing as well. And I've... I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna tell you, you could be the first person I've told this information to. Is it a secret? It is a secret, well it is a secret. Yeah. I have now got myself, well I'm currently having built, uh, my very own little crafty corner in my shed, my brand new shed. Wow. We're gonna have a big craft area. Yeah. For me to sit there and we can gonna colour, me and the little one are gonna colour. We Wonderful. have the table made, I say made, it was a bit of scrap wood that we found, uh, that we've had it all made in the shed. So when the shelf is wood, uh, yeah. it's gonna be amazing. So yeah, I'm well excited. And this is me and my little one, we love sitting and colouring and doing this technique. Oh, I, just, I loved crafting as a kid. It was, uh, it was definitely me drifting off into my happy place and not being a pain in the backside. Give me colouring mediums, give me bits of paper, yeah, some scissors. Some, I love and if it. you didn't, I would dig in the garden. <laughs> That's what <laughs> she does as worms. well. That's why we've removed to the shed because we make too much of a mess indoors. <laughs> oh yeah. It's I think you should do it with kids. It's, it's good bonding time as well. So so I've added colour and that is really, really fast for me to colour in because I just don't do fast. I just drift off into my own world and I Could you take speed the up. middle out of that stamp and put the roof onto the bottom to make a smaller house? Do they no. all fit that way? No, you jump into a demo. Oh sorry. <laughs> but yes, of course you can. So if you just if we just move that over and we take that over the top. So if we chopped off there. Yeah. Yep, you could have that as a flat roof. Yeah. Yeah. If you chop it off here, sorry with the bit it's of tissue, house. you've got another house. So it is something that's coming up. If you have a look at Lou's box on there, she's used part of the houses as mis mishmacks as well, which is I'll just I can just manage to get that. Go on, do on yours. Do on yours on your overhead. Okay. So you can see here. So this is part of the house. Oh, In yeah. fact, it's not the same one that I'm using, but that one's the same one that I'm using. Um, and that's where she's chopped it. So really, so, you're but getting. I've got one. 
you're I've getting more than 25 one. stamps in, aren't you, really? Oh, you yeah, are when getting... you start chopping into them, so that then you can do scenes. So I've got one that's prepped up to do a big scene of loads of houses together. And as I started going for it, I thought, do you know what? I only need the roofs, really. And then I can chop the roofs off, sound barbaric, and mix them all up. Oh, no, I so love it. So that's my fast attempt at colouring. It was good. Um, but what I would do is I would go back into it. So that has dry now. I would go back in to give it a little bit of shading. So I'm not going to do my pencil trick because there's lots of people saying it, but you could go in with pencils. I'm going to stick with the same um, watercolour. So a little bit of ink, take a little bit off, and I'm just going to give it a little tickle underneath what I think would there would be a shadow there. And a little bit, um, you can always go back in and add more if you want, or you can go neat. Let's go neat. Let's go neat. So if I just give it a little flick down the edge of the um, windows, they would be, wouldn't they, Shannon? <laughs> Gosh, I can't even remember what a window is. It's them clear things that you look through. <laughs> <laughs> what a note. <laughs> so now I'm just blending that out so it's not just like a solid harsh line. So it just makes the window look like it's three dimensional. But if I keep going, we'll be here until tomorrow because okay. I'm a slow colourist. I just keep going and keep going until I put it on the floor and I look from above and think, yeah, that's OK, leave it alone, Charmaine. So if I jump to one that I've already got, coloured... Put it on, put it on the floor and look from above. Yeah, because you get up close and personal <laughs> to your projects, you're working, not people. You get up close and personal to it and it, it's just not right, it's not right, not right. You walk away and you see it through fresh eyes at a distance, you think, actually, that's all right, stop oh, messing. Oh, that's where we're all going wrong. Put it on the floor yeah. and look from above. So here's some that I did in different colourways. Oh, so you can see this. that they um, will work in different colours. And there is some more. Then They are really, really easy to cut out. Yeah, there we go. So I've got some cut out. So that's in a different colourway. So they're for Ron. He's back again. Oh, Ron. And... Um, Right, so I want to choose th uh, three houses to go with this piece. So I'm going to choose two the same. There we go. And I'm going to get my scissors, which are here. Why did I not get them out? And I'm going to chop the bottoms off for another run. So we're going to go... Ron is busy, isn't he? So if I chop that one there... This one looks like it's got a roof on its own. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's like a little shop. Yep. So we'll have him. So we will have this one here. This one, we will chop that one off the same again. So we can have another shop. Now, they don't need to have a door, but you could always draw a square on if you wanted a door, because it might have a back door. And that's going to go on there. And then we move that to one side. And that one's going to go there. And then the little one's going to go there. Aww. Now, you can raise them up on foam pads if you so wish, but all I'm going to do to this right now, because you can visualise that being stuck down, is I'm going to add some words. So, and I think that that is uh, fine. So, I could go with happy, happy in, or I can go with um, motivation, or inspiration, or even both, life. <laughs> life. <laughs> I love life. Ah, here we go. Right, so get some wordies on. One. I love and this. Two. Shall we go with colour? Or shall we stick with black? Oh, oh. Decisions, decisions. But uh, I would say black. Good, because you're too slow. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. So get that one on. Uh, yeah. And, ooh. She didn't, she did. Stuck me blooming hand in the paint. What an Egypt. Right, motivation, here we go. Da, da, da. I did these three bottles. Of, oh, it's about eight years ago. One was inspiration, hindsight and common sense. And I really wanted those as stamps. <laughs> <laughs> and I put sweeties inside them. I decorated them up with like mediums. And I put sweeties inside them. Why did you do that? You silly stamp, come back. Right, so you're wrong. Look on. at that, though. And I really want those as, sam uh, as um, stamps because at the end of the day, we're always looking for either inspiration or what's the other one? Mojo. Everybody's looking for a mojo. You've lost your mojo. I lost my mojo. Here you go, I've met you one. That'd be a great crafty tip uh, to a send mojo. to somebody on tip. So those Does two. Does mojo mean something else? I'd, probably in some country. I think mojo for us is. Um, Inspiration, really, isn't it? 
I'm, I'm going to yeah. say get yes. Get up and go. Get up, get and, up go. and go. Get up and go. Got I up like and went. That. <laughs> I'm going to have the same wording over here as well because I want her. And that's my piece done. Ish. Is that all right? Oh, look. That is beautiful. That for like a little housewarming gift. Yeah, it could be moving house. Yeah, who could it? Who's moving house? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It I could, love that. It could be yeah, moving house. It could be. It's like a beach scene as well with bright colours. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. Um, something quite cosmopolitan about it as well. Mm. But I'm guessing it's all about the colours that you choose it to be. Because if you go for your terracottas, you could go quite. Italian you and could, that sort yeah, of look if yeah. you want to do. If you go for sort of your whites and your blues, you could go sort of, um, you could go very Grecian with yeah, it definitely. as well if you wanted to. And it's all about the colour that you choose to do your house. If you go brightly coloured like this one that you've gotten here, um, you are now, for me, that screams the seaside. It, you've got that seaside vibe about it that you've got there just from the colourways. Uh, but then you go some of the individual scenes uh, that we've also got here as well it could be anywhere and everywhere things like these these little books that, that you can create when you get them home as well but it's, it's just something sort of quite nostalgic about them that you're getting in there and maybe this is going to be a little sewing book maybe this is going to be something that you just sit and you color in with fabric pens or it's something that you're going to stitch into at a later date or you're just using it as a little memory book how beautiful are these and things to go in it is it is it's absolutely stunning it really really is um oh my word nearly half the stock of your one day special has now already gone this is our first live hour first live hour and nearly well half the stock has now already gone you are getting 25 stamps uh, and we've already worked out as well that there are more than 10 stamps here. there's more than 25 stamps that you're actually getting in here all together because as we've said before, you start cutting these down into more, you are going to get more than 10 out of these. Just using maybe this element here and you bring the roof down, you've got another set. So in theory, you've got one, two, possibly three houses, or you can use that as a little extension on the side of a house if you wanted to, if you want a little conservatory uh, that's already in there. Uh, from there, we can go to some of the taller houses with all the other elements in. So you've got the garden path that's in there as well. You've got the clouds in there. You've even got the brickwork. And we'll ask Ash Charmaine how this brickwork actually works uh, later on. No doubt we'll cover it over the next course <coughs> of the 24 hours as well. Uh, but we'll ask how the brickwork um, fits in to the patterns themselves. Uh, this is the one that we saw Charmaine just using at the moment. You've got like home, in, happy. Uh, you've got the picket fence in there that you can make long. You've got the smaller cloud as well if you wanted to use it for the smaller cloud. Once again, the snippability in these are remarkable. And from there, last but no means least, uh, this is the one where we've got our beautiful butterfly. You've got more of that picket fence uh, you've got your shop front maybe you just want your little shops you're going to do them in different colors or oh, you've got all the other houses in there as well uh, i absolutely adore that that little rose window you can go for them individually if you wanted to as well the details for those are at the bottom of the screen 924780 is your item number but why pay 10.99 per stamp set when you can pay if you're going for that larger bundle seven pounds and 49 pence today get it in that large kit of 29 pounds and 96 pence 856013 is your item number for the house sets one set two set three and set four 25 stamps in total right then getting quick 50% of the stock is already gone your item numbers at the top of the screen what well, then what are we up to now okay I've got stencil from set one so yes. um, I've also got ink which is in my archival this is a dusty Con concord and I'm just going to gently put on some ink in random areas so I'm just going to do a little patch because I have got one partially done so I did one two and three pretty much how it lies on my stencil there and then when I remove that because I've not gone in solid and full color you get depth to the pattern that's okay. what I'm going to stick with so that'll be for Ron because I will use it later so you can wrong. see that I've got the three blobs we will call it technical turn and now what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to turn it sideways and I'm just going to go a little doodle on here and all I'm going to do is follow the curve of the little ball shape here like so. Now if I carry on doing this we'll be here until eight o'clock so I will jump to one that's already pre-done. So just following that little curve on there. That makes sense so you far. You know, it makes yeah. perfect sense. Run I'm with quite me. intrigued of what you're up to. Run with me. It will, it will come together. So I carry on and do the whole lot. So in good old fashioned me sat down playing, I had one already done. So you know, there's a slight difference to the shape, but I'll run with that and make that into a different okay. one. Okay. For that man that's coming later on. Aaron, <laughs> do Aaron. run on. Okay. So I've jumped to this one. Now I'm going to jump to a different stencil. So why did I not get it out? So I'm now going to use the enchanted circles off of set one. So you can see that they will mix together. And I'm going to use my raspberry. And is that the right brush? And add a little bit of pink to it. So here we go down here and same again a little bit more and up there and then I'm going to use some yellow and I probably should have gone in with that one first but I have got another brush that's the right one okay so here with the yellow and I'm going to cross over the yellow onto the pink and down so I'll get a third color coming through and the same again up here um, where I'm placing it is where I fancy at that time. So okay. there's no rhyme nor reason to where I actually place. And then remove that off. And it That's actually nice. looks like that I did um, this one last. So it's like yeah. it's, it's brought it forward. So it's quite a simple technique to do. Obviously doodling in you know, with your fine black pens um, is a little bit time consuming, but and best done sat down in my case. So just nice. a little curve and don't worry about it being precise and perfect. It's quite a space age about it. it. It does, doesn't it? It's just a bit cosmic. Mm, eh? <laughs> so like it. that's my basic layer done. And then what I did is I matted and layered it onto the black card that we've got on the show. So, yay, look at me go, prep, prep, prep. No, look at you. <laughs> and then I stamped houses and coloured them in in exactly the same way that I did earlier with the, with the same pens and I've trimmed them down. So here they are ready to go. So this is this is going to be a fast demo because it's, it's rinse and repeat what I've already done. And I've cut them down in the same way. Yes, I do actually put some on full size, but um, I just wanted to do some smaller pieces that I'd make nice little cards. So I've put foam pads on the back. You could have them on um, flat if you so wish. And even though it's the same one, if you colour it in different, it looks slightly different. So I'm going to add those there. And do I want this one off to one side or do I want to keep it there? Mm, I think I'm going to have this one. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm going to, there. I didn't want, I like that ball there. <laughs> oh. I suppose I could have turned it and done it the other way around. Right, so that's going to go there. Then what I've done is out of the paper kit, um, I've stamped the large and the small, what's it called? Clouds. Um, I know on end of call there is a stencil with clouds in if you prefer um, clouds with other bits and pieces okay. in there as well. But I'm now going to use my oxide. Could you, with these clouds, the more I look at them, the more I see other things, uh, could you use these as a bush? Of course you could, but it there is bushes already there. Well, that's but just a different bush. Just gives you a different, different gives you a different yeah. look, doesn't yeah, it? It does to the bush. indeed. So what I've done is I've used oxide. So I'm just going to use, um, just going to do the big one because I have got two already done. So you can see exactly how I did it. And take my paintbrush because again, that's what got, reacts well with water. So nice, easy colouring in, even though it's patterned paper. I quite like the patchwork effect. I've done some samples actually paper piecing, but paper piecing is very time consuming, especially for the TV. <laughs> so a little bit on there and then that's just nice. dry off that little bit of water. Cut that out nice and simple. Foam pads or flat tape in my case with this one and we'll add some clouds to it. So it's just a little bit different. It's not building a scene that's realistic. It's about having a bit of fun. Yeah, and if this was in your journal, you could write, you know, the day's goings on, or I don't know, grandma's Christmas recipe for, um, what's it called? 
Oh, what do you have at Christmas that you set on fire? It's Christmas pudding. That's the one. Yeah, Christmas. Could be the recipe. tree. Could be anything. Really, <laughs> now, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it depends what mood you're but in. You set on fire turkey. <laughs> <laughs> stuffing. <laughs> Uh, you, you can't say you're stuffing you on to, fire. Well, you get no. it, Arrow. So, again, I've used the same words that I used before and I'm just adding them <laughs> in. But it, do, <laughs> it does look quite cool if you actually stamp into the clouds, but that's for another time. So, that's quite a, a quick one done there. But that a would be of, a, a beautiful journal page, as you said. That is yeah. screaming over the journal pages. Um, if you are liking the paper kit, though, we've got that on the show as well. Uh, if the mix-up paper kit, the decoupage, the backing papers, the super smooth card as well, and you're also getting your gift box templates in there of that beautiful house. £14.97. We've got the happy, house, happy hour deal that's ending in 10 minutes' time. Uh, if you want to get it, I'd get in quick because you are saving a phenomenal amount. Over £40 is what you're saving. £42 is what you're saving. £30 four pounds and 93 pence you've got seven stamp sets sets one to 33 stamp sets in total i'll set one 33 stamps in total uh, for 34 pounds and 93 pence 381025 is your item number embellishment kit Set one and set two is what you get now uh, set one is on the show for 19.99 if you want set one, the details are at the bottom of the screen now. But if you want that £15 off, you can get sets one and two for £24.98. It's one of those why not deals, really, isn't it? It speaks for itself. Um, 554549 is your item number. Very, very busy across the board for a launch hour of Dolly Dimples is what we're talking about. And we're talking the Dolly Town, the next season in Dolly Town as well. Right then, Charmaine, we've got three minutes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we just dance? <laughs> we can if you want. Bear with distance. me, sorry. Let me just grab. Nope, sorry. Sorry, I had to run away. Um, a little reminder for sorry, you, half the stock of your one day special now has already gone. 50% of your one day special has now already gone. Right, we've got two and a half minutes. <laughs> I did my quick ones already. Uh, right, this is going to be, a s yeah, you got it. Well, <laughs> the voice in our ears. A sneaky preview of <laughs> what's to come uh, this what's evening. Coming, yeah. Eight o'clock. Yeah, we're going to start now. Let's start it and then. Yeah, we'll start. Let's start it and we'll right, watch. Okay, them. so this is the long card that we've got on. Yes, we've got the So you've show. got, it's a 300 um, cream smooth card. And as you can see, it's longer than 12 inch because it's longer. I can't remember the exact size because I've just lost it now. So. Thank you. 36 by 12. Oh, that was good. That I was know. well remembered. I know. It's a you know, little voice. <laughs> right, here we go. <laughs> what voice are you hearing? I don't hear anything. It's a special one, just for me. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, so I'm going to score this at 10 inch. Um, score that at 10 inch, and then I'm going to fold that over, uh, like so. And then I'm going to take the next one and score it at an inch lower. So that would be nine inch. Yeah. And then I'm going to fold that over. So this is great construction weight. Again, you can use this is the creams card that I print on. You can use alcohol inks. You can use your watercolor, your distress stuff, um, and so on and so forth. It does take a lot. So it takes a lot. If you want it, the details are on the side of the screen. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. You're getting ten pounds off here. Um, you are getting so much. The Super Smooth 300 GSM and 120 GSM, uh, you're getting uh, 100 in total. So if you wanted to do inserts or if you wanted to do sort of paper piecing or add bits to it, you can do. So, you know, it's got lots and lots of options here. So my next layer was at 7 inch. So if I move that to one side, there we go. Um, and so it's all slotting in like this no i'm not showing you but i can show you what it looks like um with backing papers on uh, so what i've done is i have put um i tell you what uh, one of those that one yeah similar similar version similar to this is similar. what we're going to be doing this is later on has, has done that one um it's similar We'll sit, should we reconvene in an hour? Whoop, whoop. Let's reconvene in an hour and we'll talk you through it all over again. You start checking out your baskets. Half the stock of the one day special has already gone. Don't you go anywhere. Thank you, Charmaine, my love. It's been well, a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, we'll do this all again in an hour's time. Let's hand the baton over to our Scott. Oh, what a 